Say, Joe, you ever wonder why I only ever drink pure distilled water or rainwater and only grain alcohols? No, I guess I haven't wondered that, Jack. It's because water is our most precious resource. Uh-huh. And water is the essence of all life. Sure. Did you know that the Earth is seven-tenths water? Wow, man, the whole Earth? And that, in fact, your body is 70% water? Holy shit, dude. Is that right? Jamie, is that right? Can we pull up the graph? There it is. Wow, so that's what I look like inside? Yes. Crazy. Joe, have you ever seen a commie drink a glass of water? You mean, have I personally seen a communist drink from a glass of water? Have you? No, uh, I can't say I have watched a communist drink water. Because they only drink vodka, right? I... I don't know. Joe, do commies drink vodka? Uh, sure. Yeah, they drink vodka. Do you think that's a coincidence? A coincidence that communists drink vodka? Do you think it's a coincidence that commies drink vodka and that you haven't seen a commie drink a glass of water, which is the essence of all life? I guess I haven't really thought about it like that, Jack. You know that, as human beings, Joe, that we need fresh, clean water to replenish our precious bodily fluids? Sure, that makes sense. I can roll with that. Are you beginning to understand, Joe? I, uh, I'm not really sure what we're talking about. We're talking about fluoridation, Joe. Do you know what fluoridation is? I think so. That's when they put fluoride in the water, right? Do you realize that fluoridation is the most monstrously conceived and dangerous communist plot we have ever had to face? Wow, man, that's crazy. And do you realize that in addition to water, there are studies underway on how to fluoridate salt, flour, soup, milk, and even our precious fruit juices? Even the fruit juices? Damn, dude, that's fucked up. What about soda? Soda, too. Damn. Do you like ice cream, Joe? Sure, I try to eat healthy, but I like ice cream. Who doesn't? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I guess I'm a Rocky Road kind of guy. Now imagine your precious Rocky Road, but fluoridated. Huh. I, uh, guess I don't really know what to say to that, Jack. They never do. Do you know when fluoridation first began, Joe? No. 1946. 1946? 1946, Joe. How does that coincide with your post-war commie conspiracy? It's incredibly obvious, isn't it, Joe? Foreign substances are introduced into your precious bodily fluids without the knowledge or consent of the individual, and certainly without any choice. That's the way your hardcore commie works, Joe. That's textbook communism. Is that communism? I'm not really sure that's how communism works, Jack. Well, I'm dead sure. Listen, General Ripper, sir, when did you first start? Uh, well, when did you first develop this theory of yours? Well, Joe, I, I first became aware of it. During the physical act of love. You came up with this during sex? Yes, Joe. During intimacy. I became aware of a profound sense of, uh, well, of fatigue. A feeling of emptiness. Thank God I was able to right then and there interpret these feelings correctly. That I was experiencing a loss of essence. A loss of essence? Yes, and I can assure you it has not reoccurred either. I got my essence back, and women can sense it. They can sense it, and they seek my life essence. You got your essences back? Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. I do not avoid women, Joe. Of course not. But I do, however, deny them my essence. So, does that mean you refuse to ejaculate? You withhold your cum? They are my precious bodily fluids, Joe. Mine. 